Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. So, choosing one specific thing to be the pursuit of humanity is quite a taunting task, right? That's why I try to approach this question a bit more generally and find something that will help us to then pursue more individual goals, both on the level of society and both on the level of the individual. What would this be? I think that we should strive to understand the dilemmas and the choices and situations that shape our life's path and that shape our experiences. What I will be doing tonight is trying to show you how this understanding process could work and how it worked for me through my own research through a specific dilemma. So about two years ago, I had to do a sophomore project here at Milestone. As I was looking for my topic, I'll admit I was in a bit of trouble. I had a hard time finding something that I wanted to research. And then I realized that I already had a lot of materials at home available that I was very interested in. So I looked into the family archives and I ended up with a, a historical research that was a mix, mixture of family history and women's history. And from that came an autoethnographic history project that focused on women living in communist Hungary. I worked with primary sources, so I looked at diaries, letters, um, prison statements, official party statements, interviews, and from that, I, one thing that I was trying to do is reconstructing the story of these people that I was looking at, uh, the, their life, and on the other hand, I was focusing on a specific dilemma, something that I think is very present in my life and probably in a lot of your lives as well. And this is the dilemma between a carrier and a, and a motherhood for women. So I think it is very interesting to look at this specific era from this aspect because on the one hand it is a time period that is very important for Hungarian history but we do not really consider it from this specific aspect even though I think it would be very important if we want to gain an understanding into how normal everyday people experience life in this time. And I also think that it's an interesting uh, period to consider because on the one hand, socialism and communism as an ideology really promote women um, becoming professionals, entering the workplace, um, you know, even being politicians and generally becoming more equal to men. But at the same time, there was a really strong encouragement of having traditional families, um, having children, preferably multiple ones, and you know, leading a traditional home, a traditional family. And then this could lead to sometimes conflicting, contradictory pressures and expectations because at the same time, same time, men's increased participation at home was not really encouraged. So as an end result, what we end up with is just more pressure on women in general. We end up with women having essentially two jobs, one normal job, one paying job, and one job to be a mother, to be at home. So, you know, if we look at the entire pressure and, and you know, the, the effect on women, then we are not really going forward. I looked at specific examples of, of women who had professional careers, who were prominent politicians, who, you know, who could live up to this expectation of, of being the working women from my own ancestors. And then I, I found, found two things. So on the one hand, we could maybe see that uh, the, the role that a woman had to assume as a professional entered the home and, and kind of prevented her from assuming a, a role as a mother that we would understand traditionally. And even more importantly, on the other hand, it meant that these traditionally feminine jobs, these household jobs that we think about, still remained and they still had to be the, done by women. It just meant that they had to be done by other women other women who did not necessarily have the opportunity to rise up and take these traditionally masculine jobs and have a professional life. So the, the work was transferred to other women, but women still. So if we look at women as a group, then you know we are once again not really going forward. If we consider th this other group of women who are maybe a bit more disadvantaged, more lower class, um, maybe rural women, then the situation is once again a bit different. The representation of marriage is different. Marriage is always something to achieve, something that is worth striving for, something that is the basic stepping stone to having a successful life. So there, once again, the balance is different. What we see 
is that this situation and this dilemma depends very largely on societal context and on social class and social standing. I think that this applies today as well. But generally, I think that this is a choice and a dilemma that all of us experience today as well. I will not spend a lot of time explaining how this looks today. I think it is enough if we all think of our own experiences or think about our mother's experiences or think about our grandmother's experiences or just read the news. Just think about what the state audit office said about feminine education. This is something that is around us and also something that I think we often consider to be a very modern, very 21st century problem, which I think to some extent is a mistake because I think that as this specific example shows us, it does have a long history and probably if we go back even further in history, then we would find interesting examples and interesting steps in how this situation evolved. So my goal here today was not to give you an answer to this question, should I be a mother or should I be a professional? My goal here is to encourage you to adapt this way of thinking that includes taking a step back, trying to look at things from a wider perspective, maybe with a historical context in mind. And I think that in my experience, I, I saw that this allows you to gain a deeper understanding, a very different understanding into very important life-changing dilemmas that you face both in your own life and that you see around you happening in society. And that maybe you can see that something that you thought you were alone with is actually a result of many, many years of history and societal context behind it. Thank you very much.